Nikon has been the forgotten company in the mirrorless camera race, but that's now changed with the launch of the 45.7 megapixel Z9. It's also the first mirrorless camera with no mechanical shutter. Instead, it relies on a fast sensor to minimize the jello effect that can happen with electronic shutters. The Z9 is not without flaws though. It's quite heavy compared to models like Sony's A1 for one thing. The lack of a fully articulating screen also makes it a hard sell for videographers. And at $5,500 for the body only, it's quite expensive. Now let's dive in to see how it measures up against the competition. The Z9 is a big chunk of a camera. It weighs around 1340 grams or just 60 grams less than Nikon's big D6 DSLR. By contrast, Canon's EOS R3 weighs 1015 grams and Sony's A1 is a mere 737 grams. On the plus side, it has a nice big grip that imparts a feeling of security and stability, particularly with a big lens attached. Like Canon's EOS R3, it has matching controls for operation in portrait mode. The Z9 has a generous array of manual controls, but I'm not a big fan of the layout. The AF button is positioned on the left side next to the lens, which I find a bit awkward. The top display also takes up space that could have been used for more buttons. And compared to Sony and Panasonic's latest cameras, the menus are too complicated. The 3.2 inch touchscreen is relatively sharp and bright, but there are a few drawbacks. As mentioned, it only tilts up and out to the right, so self-shooting or vlogging is pretty much impossible. The EVF is a bit disappointing for a camera this expensive too. It's limited to 3.69 million dots compared to 9.44 million on the Sony A1. Considering the high-res sensor, that seems like a miss to me. Despite the lack of resolution though, it is incredibly smooth, offering blackout-free performance without any repeating or skipping of frames. Nikon has gone all in on CF Express with this camera, with support for two of those and no SD card in sight. This is a smart idea because there's no compromise on speed or backup. The downside is that CF Express and XQD cards are much more expensive than SD. Other features include a huge battery that delivers a solid 740 shots on a charge and over two hours of 4K video. It also comes with a USB-C 3.2 slot for both transfers and storage, an Ethernet port for remote shooting, and a full-size HDMI jack. The Z9 is Nikon's fastest mirrorless camera to date. You can shoot up to 20 raw frames per second at full resolution or a blinding 120 11 megapixel JPEGs per second. Again, all of these speeds are in electronic shutter mode because there's no mechanical shutter. The speed is great, but I managed just 40 lossless raw photos with a very fast CF Express card before the buffer filled. However, that number was much higher using either of the high efficiency lossy raw settings. The hybrid phase detect autofocus is a big improvement over the last model too. Nikon has brought 3D tracking over from its DSLRs, but it's far better because of the huge number of AF tracking points. It delivers very reliable subject tracking and the new face, eye and animal detection is incredibly fast and accurate as well, even if the subject is a good distance away. As a result, even at high burst speeds, most of my shots were in focus. With no mechanical shutter, fast readout speeds are key to reducing image skew and other issues. Happily, the Z9's stacked backside illuminated CMOS sensor is up to the job. I never saw any rolling shutter unless I really whipped the camera around, so even for sports or bird shooting, you're not likely to see any issues. At the same time, the 5-axis in-body stabilization reduces blurry shots caused by camera movement or handshake. The 6 stops of shake reduction are well below the Canon EOS R3's 8 stops, however. The 
with 45.7 megapixels on tap, the Z9 delivers sharp images with dynamic range that's second only to Nikon's own Z7, which has a similar sensor. All raw images are now captured with 14-bit depth, giving you plenty of room to tweak them in Adobe Lightroom or Nikon's NX Studio. JPEG images look nice straight out of the camera, though they can be slightly oversharpened with the default settings. Colors are accurate, though the skin tones aren't quite as warm as with Canon's EOS R3 or R5. The Z9 performs reasonably well in low light too. Grain is well controlled up to about ISO 6400 and shots are usable at ISO 12800. Beyond that, noise starts to get distracting. The Z9 is about the same as Canon's R5 in that regard, but not up to Sony's A7R4 or A1. The Z9 is Nikon's most competent video camera to date by far. It can record 8K H265 for up to two hours without overheating or other issues to start with. You can shoot 4K at 30 frames per second by oversampling the full width of the sensor and up to 120 frames per second with continuous autofocus and sound. Right now, you can record 4K using ProRes 422HQ, a widely used format that's easy to edit. It also records in H.265 10-bit mode for 8K and 4K video. Meanwhile, Nikon's N-Log mode lets you max out dynamic range. There's more to come too. In a future firmware update, Nikon will offer 8K 60p internal RAW video using a format called Tico RAW. As with photos, video autofocus is fast, reliable, and can track a subject's face even if they're fairly far away. It also follows subjects smoothly when they're moving toward the camera, though you may have to tweak the AF speed. Rolling shutter is more prominent for video than stills, however it's still not bad unless you whip pan the camera or have a fast moving subject. 8K and 4K oversampled video are extremely sharp. Quality drops a hair at the higher frame rate 4K settings, but it's nothing you'll ever notice unless you're really looking for it. Colors are accurate, but again, skin tones aren't quite as pretty as on Canon's latest models. Dynamic range is top notch, particularly in the 400 to 800 ISO range in ProRes mode, making it easy to adjust shadows and highlights in post. If you love shooting ProRes footage, be sure to get some high capacity CF Express cards because the file sizes are huge. The Z9 is Nikon's most versatile and powerful mirrorless camera yet, and the lack of a mechanical shutter is a non-issue. However, Nikon's decision to not use a fully articulating screen is a shame, considering the camera's awesome video capability. The Z9's main rival is Sony's $6,500 A1, which offers similar shooting speeds, resolution, and video capabilities. The Z9 is $1,000 cheaper and will have higher 8K frame rates when the firmware update arrives. However, your choice may come down to whether you prefer Sony or Nikon's ecosystems. Another option is Canon's $6,000 EOS R3. With just a 24 megapixel sensor though, it's designed primarily for sports, so it's not ideal for studio or landscape work. Overall, the Z9 is a great choice for pros who don't want to compromise on any kind of shooting, both for photos and video. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe, and for more on technology, check out Engadget.com.